We are lagging behind in England, Scotland and Wales are sitting down there talking. I came to the UK thinking, oh, I'm going to go and give back and I'm going to really um, help people and help um, students and stuff, but it's just soul-destroying because day in, day out, you feel depressed, the fact that you can't, um, you know, you're trying to help these people and you're getting paid pittance for it. You know, I'm in my overdraft at the end of every month because I haven't got enough money. Um, I'm, I'm careful with my budgeting, but still, no matter how much you put into it, 60 hour weeks, you're still not getting enough, um, enough pay for the job and the conditions. So. So I came here with my dad to fight for our rights. They deserve better pay. She's eight years old. I figured I mean, out that the, the right. government that is not paying the teachers down. enough. How about <laughs> the government themselves? How come they not really um, figuring it out they are not paying the school enough? can't hire teachers fast enough. There's so many vacancies in lots of schools and the quality of people we're bringing in um, isn't as good because obviously people are looking at this profession now and they're thinking, why would I want to be a teacher? Because we've got these working conditions, I'm not going to get paid for it, I may as well do something else. I've got friends who earn 50K for doing 30 hours a week um, and I just think to myself, well, why, why shouldn't I do that instead of, you know, I'm getting 30K, it's a good wage, but it's not as good as for working 60 hours a week. It's not, it's not good, so. Yeah. 